para triathlete for Great Britain. As a world champion and Paralympic triathlete, I wanted to tell the world some of the stories behind the people and the personalities I have met throughout my nine years in the sport. With the Paralympic Games around the corner, now seems the perfect time to get to know some of the para triathletes who will be going for gold in Tokyo. And today, I'll be going beyond with France's Yannick Borso. Yannick was chasing a promising triathlon career when in 2004, he suffered a freak biking accident that left him with paralysis in his right arm. What could have halted some sports careers simply proved to be the catalyst for an exciting new chapter in his, with Yannick going on to win multiple world triathlon titles and compete at both summer and winter Paralympic Games. And I found out that you actually started as an able body triathlete and you were very successful and you had an accident in 2004. Yeah, and then you, right. came, you came back from a bad accident to become one of the world's best para triathletes. Can, can you tell us about, I guess, your journey? Yeah. So, yes, when I was young, I was practicing triathlon. I practiced triathlon since I was 14 years old. So it's a long time ago. I think my first ITU race was in 1992, so a very long time ago. Yeah, I was, I was <laughs> I, born then. Ah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I was youth. At this time, I was youth, and uh, I, I took part at the European Champs as junior, and it was a, a good memory. So, yes, it's a very long time my practicing triathlon, and I was in a French national team with a ball body. But uh, in 2004, I crashed on my bike with some good friends of me. Uh, maybe you know him with David Post. He finished uh, fourth at the uh, London uh, Olympics. And yeah. uh, there, was, uh, there was also Nicolas Becker with me. And uh, Nico Becker is now the French uh, head coach of Paratriathlon. So it's a nice story. Yes. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, but... I was lucky because uh, during this crash, uh, after this crash, my head uh, has a big, uh, big trouble. But uh, the only uh, things I have now is just uh, my right arm, who is now not moving very well. So I, I'm quite lucky. So after the, after the crash, uh, I say yes, I could. Uh, I, I can continue to to swim, bike, and run, and so I keep going. But in 2004, paratriathlon wasn't at the Paralympic Games. So I said, ah, it's not really good for me. So I moved to cross-country skiing and biathlon just after my, my accident. And uh, I was able to, uh, to take part at Torino 2006 and Vancouver 2010 uh, Paralympic Games wow. in cross-country skiing and biathlon. And after, I moved back to triathlon because triathlon was... a uh, was at the games, at the Paralympic Games in Rio. So it was time for me to, to go back to my uh, original sport. Amazing. And how long did it take you from having the accident to be able to be strong again and to actually compete? Was it a long journey? Was there a lot of rehab? Uh, when I was at the hospital, uh, not at the hospital, I don't know how do you say, at the Reali rehabilitation center, yeah. I start uh, going back to the pool and uh, I start uh, doing some uh, wind trainer too. Some, yeah. uh, so I, I go back uh, very fast uh, to sports, but to be performing, to be, uh, to be strong, it took me, uh, I think, just one year because uh, in October, in October 2005, uh, uh, I compete at my first uh, ITU uh, Paratriathlon World Champs in Honolulu. But uh, at this uh, time, it wasn't the same as now. We did a, a standard distance. Uh, the field wasn't very, uh, very big. And, uh, but it was, a, it was a nice race and uh, I had fun. Uh, I go to Honolulu with a friend of mine, with my uh, coach as able body. So we had a good time and... Uh, and I won the race, so it was a good, uh, a good travel for me. <laughs> oh, that's, that's amazing. And could you now talk us through, I guess, how you, you mentioned a bit just then that I guess triathlon is different now. You did a standard 
distance back then in 2004. How has it changed over the years? What, what development have you seen? Uh, uh, I've seen many, uh, I see, I've seen more and more people going to para triathlon, especially uh, since uh, the time uh, they announced uh, that para triathlon will go at the Paralympic Games. So uh, many people uh, want to to come to para triathlon, and now uh, the level and the 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 field is very is more consistent and more more high level. There's some young young athletes, and uh, <laughs> so uh, it's it's different and it's more competitive, and uh, I like that because. When I when I go race in Honolulu in 2005, yes, I won, but the gap with my uh, with the second was very uh, big, so it wasn't very fun for me, and uh, that's why uh, that's why that's why I stopped in 2000, 2006 after Lausanne. I stopped because there was no more challenge. It was not very uh, very competitive. It was. Uh, was not for me <laughs> well i think actually if i think about my racing now my goal in the swim is normally to catch you <laughs> in the swim. and then if for people that don't know yannick is amazing on the bike and he's a really fast runner so he's he's gone but obviously you're now racing um some different people within your categories they have different disabilities um yeah. and obviously you've said that they are younger you are obviously going to Tokyo this year. What is your goals for this year? Uh, for this year, my goal is to reach the podium at Tokyo. I know it's very challenging for me, but uh, uh, it's my goal. When uh, when we were in Rio, uh, I should uh, make the podium uh, at Rio, but uh, I didn't uh, make it. Made it, and I was very uh, very sad about this. But uh, this, this is the sport, and. Uh, it, I wasn't in a good day in, in Rio and I hope in Tokyo I will be in a good day and uh, it's a, just a one day race so everything can happen. I know that uh, there are some young athletes now and uh, you said that uh, I was strong on the bike and on the run but now all the, all the competitors are strong too on the bike and on the run so but uh, I work a lot on my swim and uh, I improve it, and uh, if I'm not too late after the swim, I hope uh, I will be able to to make a good results in Tokyo. That's that's my goal, and uh, I love training for that, and uh, I'm motivated. So I will do my best, and we will see what happens. <laughs> that is amazing, and I'd like to ask you a question now. How you? I bet you're probably quite similar to me with your bike adaptions and stuff. Because of your disability, how yeah. have you changed training? So you have a wetsuit, but you have your arm inside the wetsuit. And on the bike, I don't know how you control the bike. Can you tell us some of your adaptations? Yeah. yeah. So uh, at the beginning for the swim, I was swimming in my arm just, uh, just along my body, doing nothing with it. But uh, in 2000 and uh, 80, in 2018, um, I saw a Japanese uh, triathlete uh, who, who has the same disability of me, who uh, put his arm under his wetsuit. So uh, I say I have to try it because uh, this is Jap Japanese. His uh, his name is um, oh I don't remember, but he, he was in front of me after the swim. I said no, it's no, it's. I can't, I can't be behind him because he's just swimming with a, with one arm, with one arm. So I have to to be with him. So after this race, it was in Lausanne. After the race in Lausanne, after the World Cup in Lausanne, I go back to a training camp and I put my arm under my wetsuit. And uh, after it was very uh, easier to swim and I have more pleasure to swim. And uh, so now I'm swimming with my arm under my wetsuit uh, in my bike and uh, it's going yeah. faster. And for the training uh, at the pool, I, uh, I used to, to put a lot of, uh, 
my flippers. I use uh, my flippers a lot. You know flippers? Yeah. <laughs> it's yep. correct. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I swim uh, for the warm up. I'm swimming with flippers, but after uh, I do a lot of uh, kick session. And uh, I do, uh, after, usually I put uh, three suits on me and I put my arm on my back and I do some, uh, some session uh, with, uh, with my three suits. And uh, for the. On, on your bike, do you on, have the brakes? Just on the left, right, is it, or? Uh, on the back, I'm lucky because my, my arm is still moving, so ah. so I have no adaptation. So, um, okay. At the beginning, with a mechanic, mechanical speed, it was difficult for me to change uh, the gears, but uh, so I swap. I put the, the rear on the left side and the yep. back. You know, but uh, now with uh, electric uh, electric gears, it's uh, perfect. I can do. Uh, I have no. Adap- I need no adaptation. And uh, for That's the really run at the beginning, I was putting my uh, my arm in a band, and after I tried to use like a prosthesis in carbon prosthesis. But finally, I said no. I prefer running with my arm, uh, moving uh, as it, as it can move, but. Yes, it's better for me, <laughs> like that. No, that, that's really interesting. Thank you. Um, it's, it's. I think, obviously, I have adaptations, so it's interesting yeah. to hear about how other athletes have adapted. Um, yeah. And I think that lots of people can learn that there's lots to do with your bike or your swim. Um, so I'm really glad to hear that. And lockdown. How has lockdown been in France? Is your training the same? Can you use a swimming pool? Have you done... Zwift. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last year, in uh, in 2020, the first uh, the first lockdown was uh, was difficult, but uh, I did a lot of Zwift and I was able to run too. So and uh, I practice. Uh, I wasn't able to go to the pool, but uh, I did a lot of uh, band. I don't know when you use. Yeah. Uh, yeah? And after after two months, when we were able to go back to the pool, uh, it was uh, it was difficult. But uh, I was uh, able to swim uh, quite fast, as not really it, it didn't took me a, a very long time. So it's good. And uh, now for this year, uh, I'm lucky because uh, where I live, uh, my swim my swimming club. With my swimming club, we can go to the we can still go to the pool, so I can go to the pool every day. So there's no problem for this, just because uh, I'm preparing for Tokyo, so I, I'm uh, I can go to the pool. So I'm lucky. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. Um, can you please tell me what might have been the best part of your triathlon career, and what was the worst part? Hmm. My best part of the, my triathlon career. Uh, I can say a race when I was an able body. Yeah. Because I think my best part when uh, in my career in triathlon, uh, able or para, my best race was when I, when I was uh, young. Uh, it was at the European uh, Championships when I was junior. I finished second and... Uh, I did a very good race. I was very happy with this race. So, so that's my best remember. And uh, as para, uh, I remember a race, but I didn't get a medal. I just finished five, fifth. At, it was in Gold Coast in uh, 2018. Yeah. But uh, I finished fifth. But for me, I did a good race, and uh, so I was happy with this race because I had a good swim. It was my first good swim uh, during my uh, since the, my beginning in para triathlon. So I was happy with this race. Okay. And uh, my my worst uh, my worst uh, race or remember, uh, I think it's uh, it can be Re- Rio Paralympic Games, and also it can be. Uh, Rotterdam uh, 2017 yeah. uh, World Champs because uh, I made one more laps, one 
one uh, I, <laughs> one more laps on my bike. <laughs> so after it was very. Uh, oh, it, we had a lot of laps. If I remember, it was yeah, a lot yeah, of laps. So easy done. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Yeah, but uh, I was very, uh, very sad about this race, and uh, it's not a good memory. <laughs> no, but I think that you can learn a lot when you make a mistake. So yes, of course, <laughs> of course. Never yeah. do an extra lap on the bike again. So <laughs> no, never. <laughs> you learned that lesson. Um, and I have um just kind of one last question because I'm interested. Can you talk to me a little bit about? cross-country skiing and the shooting and the bi biathlon I mean that sounds really cool <laughs> yeah um, when I when I moved to cross-country skiing and uh, biathlon at the beginning uh, I didn't want to do biathlon but because uh, I was interested by cross-country skiing because I was practicing cross-country skiing as an able body so yeah. I say yeah I will try to do it but when I arrived for, for cross-country skiing, the head coach told me, no, you have to, to try for B, to try biathlon. I said, oh, well, oh. so if you want, I, uh, I will try, but uh, I have never practicing uh, shooting, except when I was at the military, uh, I don't know how do you say, but when I go for two months at the military camp, and uh, but, <laughs> so I try, and uh, I like it, and uh, uh, I think I learned to to shoot. Uh, I learned to shoot uh, very fast, and uh, yeah, I, I like it. And uh, I, after two years of practice, I uh, uh, yes, in my second season, uh, I won my first World Cup uh, events in uh, biathlon, and uh, I was able to to shoot on uh, ten to ten or twenty to twenty sometimes. So, so yeah, it's. Uh, it's very, um, it's very uh, it's a very interesting sport because you need to be uh, fast on your skis, but when you arrive at the shooting range, you need to, to slow down and be very concentrated and uh, relax and breathe. It learn practicing biathlon uh, uh, learn learn you how to breathe and uh, to be uh, cool, cool wow. down. And I like it. <laughs> and do you use any of the breathing technique in triathlon? Do you calm yourself when you do triathlon or? No, not really. But sometimes I try to, uh, before the start, yes, to, to, <laughs> to, to be cool, to relax. Uh, sometimes I'm breathing a lot and uh, to be uh, just uh, focus mm. on, one, on what I have to do and uh, putting the pressure off. And how many winter games have you done and ha you've done one summer game so have you done two winter games yes i've done two winter games um uh, i would be able to do three because uh when i move uh, back to triathlon it was in uh, 2000 and it was in 2013 yeah and uh, this year in 2013 i was uh, i finished uh, second at the biathlon world championships and the individual race so we, while finishing second at the World Champs, I was qualified for Sochi, but uh, I say no, I prefer going uh, straight to, to triathlon, to paratriathlon, to, to try to improve uh, yes. the swim and <laughs> to try to train uh, the best as I can for, to be strong at Rio. But finally, I did not make the medal at Rio, so I say, ah, but <laughs> that's the life. To be honest, when I when I read that you did the cross country skiing and biathlon, I thought that's triathlon has three sports, and now you're doing two more sports. I did it. I was like, how how has he got enough time? Like I struggle <laughs> with three sports. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's really yeah. impressive. Um, and yeah, yeah, thank you but, very much, Yannick. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's been but amazing. yeah, but for for cross country skiing uh, this winter, uh, every winter I still practicing cross country skiing because uh, when uh, it's bad weather here, I prefer going going skiing than uh, going uh, riding my bicycle on the road when it's when so the you, road is. You not, live somewhere where you can ski. Yeah, not not. Uh, I have to take my uh, my car and uh, to drive for 
45 minutes but uh yes if there's some snow in 45 mi- minutes i can be on the track so it's good and will you go back to like a winter olympics if you do tokyo will you then go back uh, uh i think uh, i will be too old now so <laughs> <laughs> i think i have to stop but uh you know in uh, in beijing uh, paralympics there's a there's a really uh, a really event and uh, if uh, the French team uh, needs me for the rally I can do it there's no problem but uh, I think I think they, they have enough uh, enough guys in the team for and they don't need me <laughs> oh well I hope that they do take you because I think you've been an amazing <laughs> athlete um, for <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. that's amazing yes. Yannick obviously soon we are going to have the first race of the well the last two years it feels like uh, we're going to be in Milan on May the 8th how are you feeling did you race there in 2019 yeah yeah I raced Milan uh, World Park Triathlon Series in uh, 2019 or yeah 2019 and uh, I, d- I did the uh, I did a bad race in Milano a very bad swim and uh, I don't have a good remember of the of this race, but I learned a lot from this race, and uh, I like the I like the venue, and uh, it was very nice to 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 swim in this uh, roaring place. And uh, I remember the the bike course; it was completely flat, but uh, it was a fast uh, bike course, and uh, yeah, it was nice. And uh, I remember there was a able body race too the Italian Grand Prix and uh, there was uh, Alexi who was winning the race, uh, if I remember. So now, uh, yeah, uh, I remember Milan and uh, for this year, for the World Champs, it's uh, the most important race before the Games and I hope I will be, uh, I will be strong in Milano and uh, I will do my best to, to be strong. And normally, I think the French Federation We'll, uh, we'll, have, uh, we'll put some criteria to qualify for Tokyo in Milano. So if I'm strong in Milano, the French Federation will bring me to Tokyo, I think, and I hope. Oh, that is very, very exciting. And um, I wish you the best of luck um, for obviously the yeah. World Champs in Milan and Tokyo. Uh, I'm yeah. 100% sure that you're gonna do well. Yeah, thanks, Lorraine. I hope so, I hope so. <laughs>